Flying Bangers, back today with a bunch of really cool stuff. This is a quick preview. There will be more in-depth videos coming soon. What we're talking about today, not Hello Kitty, although it's pretty cool, my daughter's guitar. We're talking about man-made bridges. John Mann makes these, and they come in all shapes and sizes, and they are way cool. I got introduced to John through um, Paul Reed Smith guitars. He designed their tremolos. They're the one-piece man-made bridge. Sometimes you'll see Milcom written on those. Um, very cool, big time, one-piece, big time tone, very cool. So I'm just gonna play a little bit on a couple of these guitars. Um, I'll just I'll tell you that they play better, they stay in tune better, intonation is spot on, and um, I hear better tone. I hear more sustain, I hear more string separation. It's all good stuff. <laughs> This is a great hardtail option, and uh, it's as solid as a rock. The bridge saddles cannot move, they are locked in tight, which uh, more contact means more string vibration, which means better tone. So um, this uh, little novelty guitar, so to speak, has really turned into a tone machine, um, and largely in part to uh, this man-made bridge. So anyway, okay, what we have here, is um, a Cabernita body with uh, a Mario Guitars slash Guitar Mill neck, which is unstinking believable. And uh, another one of John's bridges. It's got the traditional three saddles that you see in a telly and brass. Once again, they're locked in on the sides for more tone transfer. Very cool, easily intonatable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on this road worn strap, we've got um, a vintage style strat trim, six screws, and um, once again, both sides are all locked in on the bridges, so more tone transfer. And um, just feels silky smooth. It's just a great bridge and it just really sounds good. <laughs> strap with a combination of the man bridge which all pretty bridge here and the uh, Zex coil pickups this one bad mofo I'm telling you and to the one that really got started uh, for me with John and his bridges um, PRS DGT and this has got the one piece you can't see right now it's got the one piece bridge so you take it out you cannot remove the tone block it is all part of the all part of the, the, the trim and um, this one is done in a very cool unplated, which is very looks very cool with the gold top on here, and it sounds amazing. Just fluid as it can be. vibrate it's just big improvement if you've got a, a standard um, PRS bridge the two piece with the brass brass is good brass is very good I love brass 
but there's something to these one-piece bridges that just adds a little bit more se note separation, a little more sparkle. <laughs> Awesome, I can't say enough about them. And uh, they stay in tune good, they, they feel great. So stays in tune great, plays great, sounds great. No downsides. Anyway, I'm gonna go more into depth on how you install these um, very soon. I'm working on some videos right now, and um, they're easy. It's, you don't have to take it to a guitar repairman to do these, you can do them yourselves. If you don't feel comfortable with it, of course, take it to you know, someone that you trust, but um, it's not very difficult. There are instructions that come with it. If you take one off, you just basically reverse the process and put one right back on. A little bit of fine tuning with the intonation and the string height to get that right curve, you gotta get that right radius on there. Not hard stuff to do, very easy to do. But um, well worth the money to put these on your existing guitars and um, you won't be sorry, very good stuff. Anyway, that's it for now, chomp chomp.